What's up guys, Ryan here. So I've got some family friends celebrating a 60th birthday soon. They're having like a joint birthday party, husband and wife. So we're gonna make two mugs for them and I'm gonna do the design right now and then I'm gonna show you how we can use Printful's sample orders, which they give you a certain amount of sample orders each month, meaning they reset monthly and they give you 20% off plus free shipping. So there's no reason not to use them, especially when it's gift giving season. Like everybody loves custom personalized gifts. This is the perfect chance to make your friends, family, loved ones, t-shirts, uh, mugs, anything else. I mean, Printful's got such a wide catalog. And also, I mean, if you guys are Gearbubble users, you can do the same thing in Gearbubble as well. However, Gearbubble's gonna charge you $4.95 for the uh, 11 ounce mug, and then they're gonna charge you uh, $4.95 for shipping. So the it's honestly cheaper to, yeah, $4.95, $4.95. So it's honestly cheaper to use Printful and uh, use the sample orders because it'll bring the, 7.95 11 ounce white mug price down to six bucks and then shipping should be free all right so i'm going to show you how to do the ordering in a second but first let's find some funny mugs and then create some uh simple simple ish designs all right and then by the way when you're looking like i looked at google images first i didn't really like these um there's so many ways to find funny mugs so you can go to google redbubble amazon uh, ebay etsy etc so let's do one from uh, amazon so Look at the, you know, there's obviously sponsored product placements and whatnot, but if you want to know what's really selling well, and it'll also, I mean, obviously this will favor older products, but the products with the most reviews indicate what's really selling best. So this mug, it's the organic rank one, so it is selling well, but also it's got 27 reviews, so it's clearly doing okay. All right, and um, honestly, like I had already looked and I was liking this one right here. I'm only six decades old. So real quick, before we do any design, whether it's for t-shirts, mugs, anything else, go to tmsearch.uspto.gov and I'm only six, six decades old. Make sure that it's not trademarked. So we're good to go here. Um, trust me, there's nothing worth worse than creating a design and then doing the trademark check after and realizing that it's trademarked and you have to delete it anyways. So I've got my Photoshop uh, template go-to design template open. Normally I'm designing for uh, dark colored t-shirts, but in this case we're gonna use uh, white mugs. So I'm gonna switch the background there and I'm gonna come up with a similar design to this one. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm also gonna kind of optimize for speed here. So I'm not gonna sweat the little things too much. I'm only, it's a really thin font. So I'm gonna give it a uh, stroke and stretch out so you can um, go into the character pane in Photoshop and I'm gonna give it some letter spacing which I believe is called kerning and maybe make it nah, actually that's fine it doesn't need to be like the whole size of the canvas because it's only gonna be a, a coffee mug oh there's nothing wrong with designing for t-shirts and then scaling down for mugs that's usually what I do that way you get to offer your designs on as many products and uh, well products as possible I'm only six all right, let's get a big bold font. This looks good. Get black. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm only six, and then we'll do the decades old as well. Make the font much smaller, of course. Decades. decades old and make that smaller and definitely less letter spacing there all right 220 seems all right Let's see if we can just like match it up to about the same size there we go that looks good get that centered all right and then uh I guess last but not least, we can do these um, little lines. So I'm just gonna make a f group and I'm just gonna add a stroke later to each of these. Um, could probably just duplicate these as well and then flip them. Flip horizontal, yes. Oh, it didn't do all of them. All right, we'll scratch that. I'll just make three new ones on the other side. All right. 
We'll add a stroke to everything in that group. Maybe make it a little bit thicker. That looks pretty good. Maybe fix this bottom right one and then make it more consistent. Okay. Thank you. All right, boom. That didn't take too long at all. Um, it's not like the best, but it's definitely good enough. It'll look fine when I uh, put this on a mug. So I'm going to merge these layers, create a new file, PNG, and I'm only six decades old. Boom, one design down. Let's get one more. Let's go to Etsy maybe. And funny 60th birthday mug. Uh, probably going to see some similar results. Oh, this one's pretty funny just like crossing out the <laughs> crossing out the the lines there. Make 60 great again, 60 delicious, making the world a better place since 1959. I may be old, but I got to see all the cool bands. I'm 60, leave me the hell alone. It took 60 years to look this good. Yeah, some good ones. Let's see, what should we do? I don't need to spend too long on this part. All right, I like making the world a better place since 1959. That's not a bad one. All right, so I'm gonna delete this and get going again. Um, maybe get like a thin font. This one looks good. Making the world A better place. Uh, how should I do this? Since, yeah, if it works, it works. I trust them. Trust the mug that's already selling well on Etsy. Um, maybe add like a little bit of a stroke to get a little bit thicker. Doesn't need to be that much. Maybe like eight pick. Oops. Maybe like eight pixels should be all right. Maybe a little bit less even. Maybe like four. Because we did want a thin font for this. Think a thin one would look better. Making the world, I might reduce the letter spacing here on the top row just to make it not as wide. So I think that looks okay. And then 1959, is that math correct? Yep. 1959. Uh, hmm. Next question, what's the best font to use? can do like 60 don't want it to be wider than the top so making the world a better place since 1959 looks pretty good um, we could introduce some color here uh, make it the same red so that it kind of matches the other mug I don't think that looks too bad. Making the world a better place since 1959. Should we change? Should we add anything? My goal was to do this quickly, but we could. Uh, would it make sense to add any like emojis or even like a globe? Like a globe icon or something? I don't know. This is the thing. It's like. It's been a long day. The creative, the creative uh, side of my brain isn't working 100% right now. I did like how these guys um, had a little bit of like a color scheme in there that I might just borrow. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna steal their design. I'm just gonna color pick the colors and see if I like this different, like this more. So I'm gonna duplicate the the red text and then. In the duplicate, I'm going to color 
them in a similar way. Yeah, this will probably look better. <laughs> I suspected it would. It looked kind of lazy just to leave it like red or black. So, Yeah, how about that? It looks pretty good. I'd say that looks a little bit better myself. So, um, yeah, we don't need to really do anything else. I think that's good enough. So I'm going to grab this design. And export as PNG. By the way, guys, this is something I talk about in my courses, but naming convention matters. Uh, if you're wondering why, you should just take me at my word. But, um, yeah, people in my courses know why it matters. All right, so we've got those exported. Now I'm going to go to Printful. I already talked about how if you go to Gearbubble, guys, it's 495 So you're like, how is 495 not ch cheaper than the 795 mug in Printful? Well, Gearbubble makes money off their sellers off shipping. Now, this is something I've been talking about on my channel, and I'm going to do, I might, I might have to do another video talking about it because it was like I was first talking about it when my channel was pretty small uh, earlier in the year. But guys, like with Printful, you can charge people flat rate shipping and then fulfill it using dynamic shipping, and you pocket the difference as profit. Guess who else knows this? Gearbubble, and they do it to their sellers, unlike Printful, where they let their sellers make the choice of what to do with their customers, Gearbubble sees their sellers as, you know, opportunities for them to make more money. That's why they charge their sellers flat rate shipping. And I'm not, by the way, $4.95 shipping for mugs is not like, it's not like we're getting gouged here, but I'm assuming that Gearbubble is making money off shipping because they always charge flat rate. So $4.95 plus $4.95 is what you'd be paying. Um, each mug would be like 10 bucks through Gearbubble. I don't actually know that we're going to get free shipping in Printful because this is a coffee mug. Now, also, I don't see free shipping here. I mean, I could double check on my main account real quick. And, um, you know, I'll do that before the video is over and see if it says free shipping. Because I'm not sure if because this account is like kind of new and doesn't have sales history, if that's affecting whether or not we get the free shipping. All right. So in order to get here, guys, all I did was go to orders, go to new order, and then go to sample order. And then add product, new products. I'm just going to type mug. You can see they've got some options. Glossy black magic mug. I think that's color changing. Matte black mug and then white glossy mug. I'm going to hit that. All right, upload the designs. And then all you have to do is click them. And it'll overlay it on the mug. Um, it's been a while actually since I uploaded a mug to Printful. But you want to drag it off to one side and center it. And then down here, click duplicate image on both sides. It may look weird right now, but trust me, it'll make more sense. Well, you can hit mock-up view right here and see it. Or you can just go to the next screen and it'll do the mock-ups for you. But as you can see here, you can kind of see what's going on and how it's actually going to look when this is ordered. Uh, Printful, I do like that they give you these like background mugs. Uh, I think they help for Etsy. I think I've done a video talking about this in the past, about how if I upload to Etsy, I grab these extra mock-ups and then I upload them to the um, listings on Etsy as well. All right, so this is uh, good enough for me. I think we just have to go back to the product and hit 11 ounce and continue. All right, $6.36. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna add product real quick. Mug, same thing, grab your file. Let's reposition. We might wanna make this slightly smaller so that it's not bleeding in to the edge when we duplicate mock-up view how's it look all right i mean that looks pretty good i don't think that looks bad at all a little pineapple all right back to the product tab hit 11 ounce continue all right it's going to be like 1272 right now all right i just used the dummy address here um put in the address for like the white house uh in washington dc and then boom printful gives you free shipping on even your sample orders of coffee mugs which i know cost more because there's the extra you know shipping hazard where you don't want them to break it's definitely not as easy as like shipping a t-shirt but how awesome is that so they give you the ability to create these free products and um again even with like a baseline free printful account by the way free like gear bubble likes to charge their sellers to use the integrations i know they have free plans i hate when people 
I don't hate. I mean, you guys can hit me up, like I always say, like on Facebook or email, whatever, YouTube comments. Um, but I always try to talk people. There's so many people misled trying to, like, I should save this for another video, honestly. I Maybe I will. But, like, thinking that they're going to go start a gear bubble pro shop and get rich. I'm like, uh, guys, you're not going to get any traffic. Like, if you spent, I would say, if you spend, like, two months setting up the best gear bubble pro shop ever, no one's going to see it. No one's going to know it exists. Then you have to spend another two months figuring out how to run paid traffic to your site. And then you're going to have to really monitor those analytics carefully and make sure you're operating at a profit. So don't be that person. Leverage the traffic on the big e-commerce trusted brands, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, dare I say. Um, start with Amazon, start with Etsy. Anyways, we don't need, it's like I had nothing against Gearbubble, but like this is where I started. But like as soon as I found Printful, I was like, hold up. Like, like these guys aren't taking advantage of the sellers. Maybe we should use them. So yeah, Printful. Printful is my recommended print-on-demand production partner. I've said that before. I'll say it again. And it's for a good reason. Also, look, you can add different uh, sample recipient uh, addresses, which is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that's it. So all I have to do if I want to receive these coffee mugs is, uh, and I'll go back and I'll show you them again that we just made. If I want to order these, all I have to do, and I'm going to do this as soon as I end the video, I'm going to put my real address in and, and uh, get them sent over here. But $13, getting two awesome coffee mugs. It did not take us more than like 10 minutes to research, design, create, and print full and order, right? Or this video might come to like 15 minutes in total, but it really wasn't a long process. And I definitely moved a little bit slower because I was recording. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you have any feedback, hit me up below and I'll get back to you. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.